Now that you've learned about aerobic respiration, there's really not that much more to know about anaerobic respiration. First of all, another name that anaerobic respiration goes by is fermentation. So you'll hear it called fermentation quite a bit. The whole reason this process is necessary is because at the end of oxidative or electron transfer phosphorylation, you need that oxygen to accept the electrons. If it's not there, then NADP or NADH can never drop off those electrons, and so it cannot convert back to NAD+. Without NAD+, you'll never even run glycolysis. So the whole point of fermentation is to restore that NAD+, to keep glycolysis going so that you get a minimal amount of ATP produced. So, if you're looking at glycolysis, again, you've got glucose to pyruvate, and you're converting NAD plus to NADH as it gets reduced. You still have to invest, <coughs> sorry, that pyruvate can be converted into lactate, restoring the NAD plus. You'll still invest 2 ATP, you'll still get out 4 ATP, so you'll still net gain 2 ATP. But the big key thing here is that you're recycling NAD+, you're keeping glycolysis going. And so in our muscle cells, when oxygen is depleted, maybe because you're out running or you're climbing stairs or you're doing some sort of crazy workout that your coach has designed for you, this is going on in your muscle cells if oxygen is running low, especially if you're using lots of ATP for that muscle movement, this is likely to happen. Later on, that lactate can be broken down further, so you'll get your full ATP benefit out of that organic molecule when oxygen is restored to those muscle cells. But for the time being, your body keeps operating just on this minimal amount of ATP and lactate or lactic acid burn, builds up. So this is called lactic acid fermentation. It's done by our muscle cells, but it can't be done by things like our brain, which is why brain cells will die first, often when you're suffocating. Smaller cells like yeast cells also do fermentation, but they do a different type of fermentation called alcohol fermentation. And again, it's named for what it produces. So you've got this same process where pyruvate is being converted into another molecule restoring NAD+, but instead those yeast are going to produce alcohol and CO2. This is why yeast can make us that nice fluffy bread, because the CO2 produced fills that dough with air, and so when it bakes it's all nice and delicious and fluffy. So we have yeast and fermentation to thank for bread as well as a number of other products, soy sauce, uh, there are types of fermentation that produce yogurt, so many things, of course your alcoholic beverages, but that is fermentation in a nutshell, very little to go over with you, and then you've got your book in addition.